All right, so today we are going to be doing a super fun diapers on the plane activity and it looks really involved. We've got five plates of food here, but this is actually a super duper duper easy Halloween fudge recipe. Now some of the fun things you could do here with these are for kids parties or or school activities or a PTA conference, all sorts of super fun um, ideas for all of these things. Make one batch of fudge and make it five different ways, or actually four different ways. So the first thing we did was we made a chocolate fudge and then we made a white fudge. So we made, what are these? Pumpkins. Pumpkins, so yes. Yay! And then we made some white fudge and mixed it with orange food coloring. Which we, and then we put the orange food coloring on top, and then we cut it out into plump pumpkins. Yep, and then this is pumpkin patch fudge. We got little pumpkin um, candy. We didn't put any white on this, just chocolate, um, with sprinkles for like patches of grass. And then, and then some. We, and then some like powdered edible powder, and um, we use a yellow to make it look like hay. Yeah, okay, who wants to, you want to explain this one, yeah. Claire? So, this one, it has, so like, some white at the very bottom and some like chocolate at the top because that's what we like. On the top, so it's like that. And then we put like Baby. little candies on the top Baby. and then we cut it out into these. And then we put little sprinkles on. So yep. this is leftover candy fudge. You can use whatever flavor you want and leftover fudge. candies. These ones are... Are the like so there's chocolate at the bottom. Yeah, so we got a tombstone, we've got a ghost. This was a spider web, but uh, Molasses decided to cut it and add a whole bunch of other stuff to it. It's now a beautiful Halloween masterpiece. Uh, Widmore did the tombstone and the ghost. We've got a cat that Claire did, a candy corn that Pi did, a mummy that Pi did, and a witch's hat. Now believe it or not, we've even got more ideas that we're gonna put in the description below, so watch the video. Please subscribe and like, and let us know what you thought. We hope you like what you Let's see. Um, Let's get started. started. Let's get started. Okay. Hello, today we're going to make Halloween fudge. So the greens we need is sugar, chocolate chips, walnuts, and evaporated milk. And what are those? Yay. Say marshmallows. Marshmallow. And this is such an easy recipe. It's great to do with kids, even little, little ones that get super excited. It can help putting the ingredients. One thing to make note of is it does get really hot. We are gonna be making this on the stove, so it's something you wanna just be careful of. The Halloween fudge that we're gonna make for you today is number one, a candy bar fudge. So this is a great idea for stuff to do with leftover Halloween candy, maybe that you didn't give away. Or in our house, what do we do after we go trick-or-treating? What's what's our, we get a 24-hour period. Halloween for us is about dressing up, it's about having fun, it's about, it's about all the fun activities. Uh, but we don't get to eat all of the candy we get, but we do love collecting it. So that's one of the Halloween fudges we're gonna make is candy bar Halloween fudge. Then we are going to make pumpkin fudge. And we are gonna make two types of pumpkin fudge. One is going to be jack-o'-lantern orange chocolate fudge, and then the other one's gonna be pumpkin batch fudge. And then the last type of one we're gonna make is going to be a whole bunch of Halloween characters and it's still super easy you still make the same type of fudge we're going to show you how to decorate them so let's get started what are we making fudge fudge very good fudge. okay so we're going to turn the heat on to low to medium yeah so we're going to turn it more towards low okay good Okay, Fudge. and we are going to Fudge. molasses. Will you put the, the stick of butter in? Okay. Okay, Claire, let's have you put the evaporated milk in. Don't spill it. So always make sure you... Okay, so we are going to put on the... 
stove the butter, the evaporated milk, and the sugar. And we're going to let that boil just for eight minutes. So it's super fast. Okay, everybody can put in a cup of sugar, okay? to just stir it gently. starts to boil. When it starts to boil, then we're going to start the timer for eight minutes. Now, so we've got our chocolate or nuts and our marshmallows. Our hot mixture from the stove that we're cooking right now is going to melt all of this stuff. So this doesn't actually go in the pan. So the hot mixture is going to go on top and we're going to get ready to do that now. We're going to watch for it to boil and then we're going to pour it on top. I'm a silly baby. I'm a silly baby. Now we can move it over. So wash your face again. Now that everything is melted, we turned it up to uh, like a medium high. Okay, so we want to keep stirring it so it doesn't burn in the corners. And as it heats up, it's going to boil. And that is what is going to, it's going to kind of caramelize it. And that's what's going to make sure that it stays thick. Now, if you don't have enough marshmallows and you don't have enough chocolate, then your fudge is going to be super runny. Or, or super soft, sorry. And then it won't, it Turn won't be out. hard like you're used to, huh? Hard mix. Yeah, we don't want it too hard, then you can't chew it, but you want it, you don't want it melting on your fingers, huh? I can hold it if you want to. Or squishy on your fingers. So let's just double check. Okay, I think it's Pi's turn to stir. Okay, please get down. You stir. With more. Okay, timer eight, timer. Wow, it's Oh, honey. Honey. Yay! <laughs> That's not what we wanted to do. This is how you grease it. You wrap it around your finger, you get the butter on, and then you smudge it all around the pan. Oh, Here, my pants. That's a four minutes. Okay, I'm done. So you don't want to overcook this. You also don't want to undercook it. If you undercook it, then you've got fudge that's that's really sticky and it doesn't hold its own shape. If you overcook it, then it'll be hard and it won't be buttery in your mouth. So you gotta find that in between. So eight minutes is just about perfect, but it does depend on the pan you use. A stainless steel pan is great. It will hold the heat well, but not overcook it. Um, something like a Guardian service pan that conducts heat a little too well. Um, a regular kind of copper pan, you might want to keep it right at the eight minutes. Uh, you can tell if it's getting, if it's overcooking because it'll get really dark and we definitely don't want it to get really dark. Um, then you're turning it into a caramel or a toffee. 
and you don't want it to, you want it to keep rolling off of the spatula like this. Okay, so we see how it's still dripping off and it's sticking to the sides. That's, that's good. See how it's, it's got some thickness to it. Yay! Yay! Okay, Yay. let's get the fudge mixed. Okay, we've got our bowl right here. So you, this is hot. Do not touch for a minute, okay? Okay, for the fudge we're going to do today, we are going to do multiple different types. So I'm going to separate this. Cook, cook, cook. Cook, yes. Okay, so this is going to be our pumpkin fudge. So what we have is a chocolate layer on the bottom. We are going to add an orange layer on the top, and then we're going to cut them out with jack-o'-lanterns and decorate them. But what we're also going to do is a pumpkin patch fudge. Okay, and just like in the smaller container, we have put our other fudge in this one. Now, it doesn't have to be super tall because we are, again, going to add a second layer to this. Okay, so now we are going to make a the top layer of our Halloween fudge. Oh, hold on. Okay, the top layer is going to be a white chocolate layer. So we are, and because we already made the chocolate, and this is just the top layer. The color, the color color, but what about the main difference for the ingredients? Vanilla. What ingredients would you need for a white chocolate fudge versus a chocolate fudge? White chocolate. White chocolate. Yes, good. White chocolate. Okay, so what are the ingredients? Okay, we've got sugar, whipping cream, molasses, whipping um, cream, white chocolate chips. Okay, butter. Butter. Just like before, we are going to add the ingredients that you need to cook in this pan. And in the bowl, we are going to add the ingredients that are going to melt. Pour this on again. Oh, it's so much wire. Okay, so here is our here's our white. You can see it looks exactly the same. And we are just gonna stir it again until it's all mixed up. Okay, so we are going to add our white layer on top of our chocolate. I'm gonna spread it out. Okay, and then we want it to we want to set a little bit aside for our pumpkin. Orange. Okay, so orange food coloring. And we are going to dip it. So if we wanted to, we could put a little we could use some extra and make a little green layer and put it under the pumpkin patch, but pumpkins don't usually grow in grass. It's actually kind of a hay field. Okay, so we've got our pumpkin fudge. We have got our and you don't want to want to jump, just jump, dump it out because it's gonna um, be a little fast. So I'm gonna pour a little into my hand and just sprinkle it on. So we did our grass, and I think it looks so great. Good, good. So you definitely want to do the candy bars when it's still hot so that everything can melt in together.
All right, so we have made all of our fudge, and now we are going to do the decorating of the different types. So you can cater these to a specific party that you're having, or for each individual guest that you have, or if you just wanna make a huge variety of different types of fudge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fudge, we did, again, remember, chocolate on the bottom and white on the top, and we are going to decorate some as bats, we're gonna do some cats, there's so many different options. We can do some tombstones, we can do some sugar skulls, or regular skulls, uh, ghosts, spider web, candy corn, and a witch's hat. So a couple other supplies we've got is some candy eyeballs. Some, ca um, some liquid sh um, candy blood. Yep. And, and we've got, go ahead. And cherry flavor. Yes. And then we've got some candy melts that we have melted and put into piping bags. Now we just use Ziploc bags for piping bags. You can do whatever you want, but we're just gonna cut a little hole so that we can manipulate it a little bit easier. So everybody's got a butter knife to spread if they want, scissors to cut. I think we've got all of our tools, so we are just going to get to it. You guys decide which which ones you want, and I'm gonna start cutting them out and putting them on your trays. Yes, you want to do this very fast because the candy milk can, can dry really fast. That's right, good job. Okay, I, have, I have a skull, skull. This is what it looks like. You've got two layers. And again, we did the top layer so that we would have a white blank canvas to work with. We've got our candy melts that are melted. They're in bags so that we can decorate. And we've got some eyeballs. So who's gonna use the eyeballs? Me. Me. Yeah. So I'll put some eyeballs on my thing. Really, for a sugar skull? I guess it's a skull. Love it. Okay, so we've got we've got yellow. We chose yellow for the candy corn, and uh, we got some purple and green, black, wow. orange, yellow. So we had several other ideas. We thought we could do mummies. Um, you could even do a mummy out of this one if you wanted to. You don't have oh, to do a skull. Good. You could do a mummy like your pajamas. You could do, and then we did. That's so that why we got green. And we've got orange for the candy corn and the cat maybe. can pick out a fudge that you want with your dinner. I'll put it on your plate. I want the cat. I don't know. It's like so hard. My, my 
Ghost used to be yellow, but it's pink. Add some yellow to 